Is Felix advanced from his kind of emergent year to, to now? Uh, definitely it's his knowledge of the game and, and playing the defensive end position. Uh, so he has really grown mentally. Uh, and he's he's worked on it. You know, he would he would call me and ask me to make him cut up so he could watch during the summer and things like that, which he didn't do that a year ago. And so he's hungry to learn more and and just his knowledge of the game has improved tremendously. You're his position coach. Um, I don't think we've asked you this, but the play at Texas Tech that Felix made, mm -hmm. how impactful was it? Not just in the game, or you know, but for the whole season and team. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we like to say we think that's the play that kind of jump started, uh, got us back on track uh, last season, uh, and uh, it was just a, it was a play that he just it, he, he he took it upon himself to, to to make a play. He was he was pissed and was mad we were behind, and so he came out there and he he made a one heck of a football play, and I think it really got us going in that game, and then from that game, it just kind of propelled us the rest of the season. Did it tell him how good he can be? <laughs> I think, I, you know, I think uh, it's my job to keep him humble. Mm -hmm. You know, I think everybody else is going to tell him how good he can be. Uh, we're just going to, I tell him, we just got to go to work every day, you know, to master your craft. And uh, um, and he's working hard to be, to be good. He wants to be good, and that's the main thing. So. Did you see Felix's confidence <clears throat> emerge, grow as the season went along? Yeah, I, I saw his confidence grow. Uh, the confidence in him as a, from the coaching staff grew. His teammates' confidence in him grew. So, yeah, you can see it. You can see him growing. And uh, the one thing that Felix always has done, he has always gave great effort in practice. He had great efforts in the game. So, so that part – you know, you have something to work with if a young man's going to give you great effort. And so, I mean, that was, that's always been in him. And now uh, you just got to make sure his technique is correct. He's understanding what offenses are trying to do to him, what they're trying to do to us defensively, and when he can turn it loose and when he has to be, you know, play technique. So those are the things that he's learning how to do. In year four, are you beginning to see the kind of depth that a really good program needs? Yeah, you know, going in a in the fourth year, we you know, um, we've really we've really have kind of uh, you know grown our guys. You know, we we, we kind of like to we, we we develop. We like to develop our guys, and 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 it's not always going to be easy. Some kids are going to come in here not as big, not as strong, not as fast as they as they need to be to to play in the Big Twelve. But if they continue to work at it, then they will eventually play here. And sometimes they will become really good, you know, if they stick with it. And we do have some – we we feel like we got pretty good depth at, def at the defensive end position. Uh, and it's, it always comes from somebody you don't expect, you know. And so, uh, you know, we got Cody Stuffelbean that's playing really well. I'm doing some really good things for us. We mentioned Brendan Mott's doing some good things. You got Nate, you got Felix. So you have some guys that, that that's coming. And then, you know, you got Khalid. And, you know, we play Khalid. That, no, we don't know where we're going to play Khalid, you know, <laughs> where we need him. And so that's another kid. So we feel like we have some guys that can rush the quarterback. You know, so we're excited about that. How refreshing well, is it uh, <clears throat> having everyone back right now? You know, versus what you were kind of handed in the spring. <laughs> well, uh, the lines are long. I know the guys that, that participated in the spring, they're happy because they don't have to go every rep, you know, or every other, other rep. But uh, it's good to have them all back, and they kind of feed off each other, and they they really uh, – it's a good group. They love they love each other. They, I mean, in the meeting room, you know, we may harass each other, but they really care about each other. So that it's a fun room to be in. That, that – you know, we got a good group of guys in the defensive end room. Do you see Nate as kind of that guy that can make that splash a little bit, like Felix did onto the scene last year? Yeah, I think Nate. Uh, I think Nate kind of made a splash a little bit himself last year, uh, and he's the uh, the way he's been working. I think he he. Look, I'm hoping that it pays off for him in the season, I, and I know it will. How exciting is the prospect of getting to have Nate, Felix, and Khalid all on the field? At the same time, I know it happened a little bit last year for Yeah, I mean, we, we, we think if we can get those guys, you know, we, we they're very talented. Uh, the three of them are very talented guys, and they're very talented pass rushers. 
And so, you know, and we got to see how Khalid comes back from his injury and, and those type of things. Um, but uh, if we can get those three guys on the field at the same time, uh, then we can get after the quarterback pretty good, we feel.